Well, that's a lot of dust on there. Hello everyone, good afternoon. It is 1.45 p.m. Wow, I didn't even realize it's the afternoon, honestly. But yeah, time just flew by because I was working in the morning and I finished vlogging the day before, which was Wednesday. Um, and I was reading A Court of Thorns and Roses and I finished that book. And I have been editing that vlog yesterday and today. Um, after work and I'm uploading it soon but I felt like I wanted to vlog more so I thought I will start a new vlog because it is Friday today and I could just do a weekend vlog because I'm going to be reading more and I just wanted to vlog while I do my daily things because it's just calming to me and also I really like documenting my reading experience especially if I'm loving a book and that's definitely the case with the current read I'm reading which you can probably guess um, I'll just get to the book in a bit just wanted to have a sip of my tea but I I'm now reading the next book in A Court of Thorns and Roses series and that is A Court of Mist and Fury um, by Sarah J Maas obviously and as you can probably tell I have read a bit of it already so I'm on page number 130 what is it 35 so that is about 20% of the way through I think because this is about 620 pages or so I don't want to spoil myself yeah 626 pages so I have made it through 135 pages yesterday um, I started reading it yesterday and I am loving it so much this is really making me a little angry just because I don't like want to give any spoilers so I'm not going to be going into detail with it but I really just hate the way Tamlin is behaving and I just I hate it all and I've been so furious yesterday night I was reading it and I was just furious and I wanted to keep reading but I had to sleep because I had work in the morning and yeah you can just probably guess that I'm going to spend the weekend just reading this I don't know if I'll like get through the whole book but yeah I yeah <laughs> and I also spent today morning while I was having coffee um, reading some articles about people having read 200 books in a year and I was just so so inspired because I definitely want to try and at least read 80 books this year um, that's my new goal because I finished 60 books last year but to imagine reading 100 or even 200 books like 200 is crazy to me 100 is also quite phenomenal but I was wondering if I could try and you know hit 100 this year obviously my goal is only 80 on Goodreads but I just want to aim as much as I can and I am loving reading I've realized that whenever I do read it just gives me strength to go through my day um, because I you know like reading about different characters doing certain things really just inspires and motivates me to get through my things and my day um, and feel just joyful yeah and I've also been reading some non-fictions as you probably saw um, I'm reading the secrets of the millionaire mind I'm reading the psychology of money the secrets of the millionaire mind I'm reading on audio I've also kept another thriller audiobook on hold because I haven't gotten around to it. It's an anonymous girl. I just feel like it's at a point where it's not really intriguing. So 
I haven't found anything physical to do in order to listen to the audiobook so I might get back to playing a little bit of Animal Crossing um, and might even clean up my room so that I can listen to my audiobooks even though honestly speaking um, because I'm reading physically I just don't feel like keeping down my book and doing anything else it's why I haven't really touched them but yeah I think I'm so dark is that fine okay now I'm like too bright but yeah I am just really really excited to keep reading this weekend and that's why I started this vlog but now I'm gonna go and I'm going to finish editing my previous vlog and upload it which is the vlog for A Court of Thorns and Roses. I just loved reading that book so, so much. And I really hope you enjoy the vlog. Um, I might link that in the video description, like here, I think. Not video description, like the video. And I might even link it down in the video description if you want to see it. But yeah, it's gonna be just so good to finish editing that and finally have it up. So yeah, I'll see you later in the evening when I am free and I'm done with most of my work and I can get back to reading. Good evening. It is 7.25 p.m. and I didn't vlog all day but I did read um, quite a little bit of A Court of Mist and Fury. I was busy with work and then I found some time to read when I was having some coffee and I... I'm loving it. I mean, I need to I don't need to say that, obviously. Um, I'm on page number 182, so that's quite a bit of chunk in there. I actually need to update it on my Goodreads, so I'm gonna do that right now and tell you what I mean how much percent of the way I'm through the book, though I probably am boring you, but I'm 29% of the way through, so tonight I'm going to hopefully finish a little bit more and um, hopefully reach 200 pages. And I am just loving this so much. I'm so, so, so glad that I have been reading this series. Um, I know I'm just gushing about it throughout the vlog, but I love Sarah J. Mass's books, I think. Um, I'm just waiting to read Crescent City as well. I'm so excited about it all. Um, and right now, if you can tell, or probably not tell, I am ready to go out because I'm meeting Gav for dinner. We're gonna go out and celebrate a bit because um, I did finish um, like an academic year of work, but more than that, mm -hmm. I... Um, like YouTube reached out to me to send me my silver play button so my play button was not sent to me and they had to just review my channel for my baking channel which is Kitchen Time with Neha and they reached out to me and they have now um, like reviewed my channel and said that I am going to get the silver play button and they asked for the shipping details and everything and then they're going to be like shipping it in a week or so but yeah they have basically given me a thumbs up for the award and i'm going to be receiving it soon and it just feels crazy to me i have given my full name for the award actually like i wasn't going to i was going to give my baking channel name but then i just thought i would rather keep it as my name because um i might end up changing my baking channel name later on and i've just put that channel a bit on hold just because i've not been finding the time to bake and i just feel like i want to rediscover that channel a bit like rediscover what kind of style i want to go through like go to when it comes to that channel because i've just been feeling a bit stuck and especially just not being able to bake as much lately because of work so but I am going to get back to it sometime. I'm hoping to at least. And I'm also really enjoying this channel just because I get to talk about books and I absolutely love that. But yeah, I just wanted to tell you that quickly. I'm gonna go out, meet Gav, celebrate a little bit. I'm just slipping on my words. And it's Friday evening, so obviously like the Friday, it's Friday night. So um, I just have a weekend to chill. I'm honestly not chilling throughout this weekend because I have quite a bit of planning to do. I have two meetings on both Saturday and Sunday, so it just feels like it's not really the weekend, but whatever, I'm gonna make the most of it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop like rambling and go and chill and I'll probably update you tomorrow morning just because I might not get back tonight um, to vlog. Like, I'll be getting back, but 
I won't pick up my camera. Mm, I'm gonna go. See you tomorrow. Um, good morning. It is Saturday morning. Um, I woke up at 10 p.m. 10 p.m. 10 a.m. But I got ready and st no, got ready really. I'm just barefaced, but I did change into some, you know, proper clothes and not pajamas. And I um, made my bed and everything. And it is nearly 11 a.m. now. Why do I keep saying p.m.? And I'm now gonna go and grab my coffee and read. So I really want to read um, A Court of Mist and Fury, which I have with me here. Um, I'll just show you the books. So I usually carry my bag upstairs just because I carry books and I don't want them to get spoiled. Um, that's why I always have bag, a bag with me whenever I go up. And I have two books in here, so I have A Court of Mist and Fury in my book sleeve. And then I also have this book, which is Money and the Law of Attraction. So if you remember, I read this book on the Kindle, but I am now rereading all the annotations that I've done and marking them, that is tabbing them throughout and even highlighting them. Um, and I'm really, really enjoying doing that, if you can tell and I might do that for a while while I have coffee and then I'm going to read A Court of Mist and Fury and after that in the afternoon or so I'm probably going to sit down and get some work done because I have some planning to do for the week um, and I also need to update my planners because it's going to be March wow um, and I'm going to be using my sleepy owl mug while I have my coffee just because I think this matches a Court of Mist and Fury cover. Yep. Um, hello everybody, it is Saturday, wait, I already told you it was Saturday in the morning, I forgot I filmed that clip, um, but I had a book mail and I just wanted to show that quickly to you because this book, I've been waiting for it since September last year, so you probably know which book this is, but I thought I'll just open it on camera because I was excited, I should have got a knife or something this is not good wow what is that oh ah there we go so this is the book that arrived in the mail it's the house in the cerulean sea it is the hardcover and it is so so beautiful and they also sent a bookmark This is so sweet. I love the floral pattern on it because it reminds me of summer. And I'll just open up the hardcover, like the dust jacket to show you how it is on the inside. It's a really pretty color. Just look at it, it's so, so pretty. Um, I'm really happy about the quality of the book and I'm really happy that it finally came to me because I've been waiting for this for nearly half a year now which is crazy but i finally have it and i really like that it's not super huge it is a lovely um size anyway i am just going to go now and um get to a little bit of 
work i have quite a bit of work to do actually and i also have a meeting so i'm thinking i'm gonna go make some coffee i might make some dalgona coffee and then sit back and do some planning for the week so this week on monday it's first of march which is really nice because i love the first of the month coming on the first of the week like monday it's lovely um and i was also thinking of planning out um to read or participate in a readathon so there's this readathon that's been announced which is just the damn readathon um by this book tube account called reading by the shelf or something not reading drinking by the shelf i think and I was thinking of participating in this readathon. It's actually based on Taylor Swift's albums and they have like prompts for each album. And I was, well, thinking about taking part in it. I'm still wondering about it, but I might participate and I'm really excited about it. So yeah, let's see what happens. Um, I'll let you know. I mean, I'll obviously put up a video if I decide to participate. I'll be filming a TBR video tomorrow if I do decide to participate after planning out all the prompts. And yeah, this is honestly very tentative. So I will um, decide it later after looking at my schedule. But first, coffee. Hello everyone, it is quite late in the night as you saw and I just got back from a little dinner slash going to the book sale with Gav. So we had gone to the book sale that um, has been happening since December and I just wanted to go there once again just because it might be ending soon because they were saying that it was going to close down by the month end and I picked up a book from there so I found this classic in the book sale and i was really happy to find it because it has been something i wanted to read and it's the wind in the willows by kenneth graham and it is by this publishing what is it who is it by like there's a sticker where it's supposed to show Egmont classics and I don't know much about the story, but yeah, I had seen this on Amazon and I've been meaning to read it because it's a children's classic, I think. And I just got it for 60 rupees, so that was amazing. Um, and yeah, I also really like it because it's got um, illustrations in it, as you can probably see. Quite a few of them, and I love illustrations. Um, but now I'm going to go and take a shower and get in bed and finally read because today all day i have not at all read um i just have been caught up with things i had my meeting and everything so i didn't read at all and i just can't wait to get in bed and read probably just gonna read at least 100 pages i'm hoping to and i might even have some ice cream because i got some more lychee ice cream i'm so excited about that i had some masala dosa with gav and that was so so good like we had the dosa was like so huge it was crazy but i'm gonna go and shower now because i'm feeling a little icky and then i'm gonna read like i said i'm so excited okay so i made some chamomile tea but that's not what i want to show you so my dad actually got me this flask and i am so so happy and i wanted to show it to you because it's just so so cool so this is a thermo flask which i can put my coffee in while i work and it'll keep my coffee hot and i am so happy about this um so it was free with like a coffee bottle and my dad got it so that i could have it like have the flask that came free with it <sighs> If you can't tell, I am so, so happy about this and um, I'm going to be using it for Monday. <sighs> I'm really happy, but I am going to get to my chamomile tea and I'm probably going to be planning out a TBR for March because I'm hoping to participate in Tis the Tam, Tis the Dam readathon that I told you about before. Um, I'm hoping to participate in it, so I'm going to make a TBR. I might buy like one book to um put in that tbr just because i was already planning to buy it but um yeah i'm gonna make a tbr tomorrow though like i'm gonna film it so i'll be including all the books i own and whatever i don't own i'll just show it 
like I'll show the pictures and I might even plan to read some on Kindle but I'm just excited um, anyway gonna plan that then I'm going to um, read because I want to pick up a quote of Mist and Fury so that's the plan for now I'm a little too high energy for the night but yeah I also have an ASMR room playing in the background so that I can relax and unwind So I didn't tell you about this mug, but my dad had also got this mug by Nescafe and it is just so cool. It's a square on the outside and a circle on the inside. Um, it is 4.10 p.m. right now. So it has actually been, um, I think one or two days since I filmed. I have been really, really busy since uh, Monday. It is... Tuesday now and I've been so caught up that I could not put, like film an outro for this vlog but I am ending this vlog here. I have finished half of A Court of Mist and Fury and I am planning to do the Tis the Damn Readathon for which I've already put up a readathon like a TBR and I am hoping to participate this month like it's a month long readathon so I will be participating in it for the full of March and I'm planning on filming whatever I read throughout the month of March and I might make um, like weekly vlogs in order to show you what I read. I am really hoping I can just because I've been so busy and exhausted that um, I just feel like I don't have the energy half the time but um, let's hope for the best that I can participate and I'm just gonna say bye here because I have some more work to do and hence um, I'm ending this vlog here so yeah I hope you're having a lovely day or night and I'll see you in a new video whatever that may be bye